interest tide is at it again, and I'm always fascinated with sort of commodity commodity products like uh, laundry detergent. You know, you got a ton of different op options. How do you differentiate yourself? You got to do it through through branding, and uh, Tide does a great job of that, and they do a great job of culture jacking. So they are. Um, hijacking popular culture to get their message across. They're at it again. They've got an infographic which they've shared on, on Twitter and used the pinned uh, feature of Twitter now to uh, pin it to the top of their account. It The infographic tallies the how often different types of stains appear in season four of Game of Thrones. So if you're a fan of Game of Thrones, you know it's a very violent <laughs> violent uh, show. There's a lot of blood. There's also a lot of dirt because it's, uh, it's a fantasy show, so uh, there's plenty of opportunities for stain, stains. They've documented in their infographic 530 stains from season four of Game of Thrones that result with <laughs> blood and 752 stains overall. So this is great in a bunch of ways because it's taking, it's hijacking the interest in Game of Thrones, very popular show. It's uh, something that Game of Thrones fans will share because it's funny and clever. Um, and they're not, they're not new to this. They've, uh, we've talked about this in previous uh, podcasts about their Carrie Vine video. So when the remake of the movie Carrie came out, they did a Vine video. Uh, that uh, showed the dumping of blood on Carrie and made a clever comment on that. They have a Shark Week vine, uh, so they're, they're I loved that one. That was great. So they're very, they're very good at this. They should have lots of fun now, though. Game of Thrones is over, but the new season of True Blood is coming out. So <laughs> maybe you're watching the uh, episode 54 beyond social media. I am David Erickson. You can find me at D. Uh, Erickson on Twitter at e-strategyblog.com. I'm with BL, my co-host. BL you can find at maximum-plus.com, at uh, whatsnextblog.com, on Twitter at what's next, and uh, you write for AdAge as well. And Scott, please help me out. Where can people find you? Oh, uh, very easy. It's at the scotttreatment.com. Uh, All right. Okay, thank you for joining us, Scott. We really loved having you. Thank you for having me. It's been an honor. We'll see you all next week.